The Program Executive Office, Assembled Chemical Weapons Alternatives is responsible for the safe and environmentally sound destruction of chemical weapons stockpiles stored at the Blue Grass Army Depot, Kentucky and the U.S. Army Pueblo Chemical Depot, Colorado. In 1996, the United States Congress established the ACWA program to test and demonstrate alternative technologies to baseline incineration for the destruction of chemical weapons. The ACWA program oversaw the design and construction of the two chemical weapons destruction pilot plants, the Pueblo Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant in Colorado, and the Blue Grass Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant in Kentucky. Today, PCAPP is in its pilot testing phase, and BGCAPP is in the systemization phase. ACWA will oversee both plants through pilot testing, operations and closure. History of chemical weapons in the United States The production of chemical weapons in the United States began during World War I, after their first large-scale use against Allied troops in Belgium. The United States chemical weapons stockpile was produced as a deterrent against the creation and use of such weapons against the U.S. Chemical weapons include blister agents that were designed to inflict chemical burns or blister the skin and nerve agents that were designed to impair the nervous system. Production ceased in 1968. In 1985, with the rise of international dialogue concerning the effects of chemical warfare, the United States started to destroy its stockpile of chemical weapons. In 1997, the United States formally agreed to destroy its stockpile by ratifying the Chemical Weapons Convention. The international treaty bans the use of all chemical weapons and aims to eliminate them throughout the world. Under the management of the U.S. Army Chemical Materials Agency, now known as the U.S. Army Chemical Materials Activity CMA, chemical stockpile destruction was completed at Army installations near Anniston, Alabama, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, Newport, Indiana, Aberdeen, Maryland, Umatilla, Oregon, Toole, Utah, and on Johnston Atoll, an island in the Pacific. CMA remains responsible for storage management of the chemical stockpiles at sites near Pueblo, Colorado and Richmond, Kentucky, whereas PEOACWA is responsible for stockpile destruction at these sites. Assembled chemical weapons refer to weapons that contain a chemical agent in addition to fuses, explosives, propellant, shipping and firing tubes and packaging materials. Examples include rockets, projectiles and bombs. History of PEOACWA Chemical weapons destruction in Colorado PEOACWA is responsible for the management of PCAPP at the U.S. Army Pueblo Chemical Depot, located near Pueblo, Colorado. The Pueblo Chemical Depot was originally constructed as the Pueblo Ordnance Depot in 1942 and has been responsible for safe and secure storage of 2,613 U.S. tons of mustard agent in projectiles and mortars, though PCAPP operations are reducing the aminate of agents stored at PCD. The weapons have been stored at the 23,000-acre depot since the 1950s. The destruction technology used is neutralization followed by biotreatment. The follow-on process, biological treatment, consists of breaking down the product of neutralization called hydrolysate by microbial digestion. Additionally, the Army's EDS is being used for the safe destruction of chemical munitions unsuited for processing by the Pueblo plant's automated equipment. Chemical weapons destruction in Kentucky 
PEOACWA is responsible for the management of BGCAPP at the Blue Grass Army Depot located in East Central Kentucky. The 14,600-acre installation stores and maintains conventional munitions and provides chemical defense equipment and special operations support to the Department of Defense. The Blue Grass Chemical Activity, a tenant of the depot, is responsible for the safeguarding of a portion of the U.S. chemical weapons stockpile, 523 tons of nerve agents GB and VX and mustard agent in rockets and projectiles. BGCAPP will also use neutralization to destroy chemical agent, but it will use supercritical water oxidation as a secondary process. Additionally, the SDC, an explosive destruction technology, will augment BGCAPP's neutralization, SCWO technology to destroy approximately 15,155 mm mustard projectiles in the blue grass stockpile, many of which have been found unsuited for processing through the main plant. The plant is currently in its systemization phase, testing equipment and best practices. PEOACWA schedule Both ACWA facilities are required to complete destruction of chemical weapons by December 31, 2023. Public involvement The Blue Grass Chemical Stockpile Outreach Office in Kentucky and the Pueblo Chemical Stockpile Outreach Office in Colorado serve as the local community's primary resource for information regarding chemical weapons destruction. The offices work closely with Army leadership and its contractors to respond to inquiries, develop and provide information materials, coordinate guest speakers for a variety of different civic groups and organizations and interface with the Governor-appointed Colorado and Kentucky Chemical Demilitarization Citizens Advisory Commissions. <laughs> 